Fame Story TV family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the sad news of the passing of the extraordinary talents, and today's episodes is dedicated to honoring their memory. Before we start, I kindly ask for your support if this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your heart. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Kim Rudd was born on November 18, 1957, in Canada. Rudd was a Canadian politician and businesswoman elected to the House of Commons of Canada to represent the riding of Northumberland Peterborough South in the 2015 Canadian federal election. She ran for re-election and was defeated in the 2019 Canadian federal election by more than 2,500 votes. Rudd was past president and owner of Willis College in Coburg, co-founder of Cook School Day Care, and a past president of the Coburg Chamber of Commerce. Rudd died at the age of 66, and she died from ovarian cancer. Bernard Leon Schwartz was born on December 13, 1925, in the United States. Schwartz was an American businessman who was chairman of the board and CEO of Laurel Space and Communications, a position he held for 34 years. He also served as chairman and CEO of KNF Industries and president and CEO of Global Star Telecommunications. He retired from Laurel and his positions at its various subsidiaries and affiliates as of March 1, 2006. He was latterly the chairman and CEO of BLS Investments, his own investment firm located in Manhattan. Schwartz died at the age of 98 and he died from cancer. James Whitbourne was born on 17th of August, 1963 in United Kingdom. Whitbourne was a British composer and conductor. Whitbourne wrote a number of works for the late British tenor Robert Teer, with whom he also collaborated as librettist, including a festal setting of the Magnificat and Nunc Dimittis for King's College, Cambridge, a cantata for the St. Endelian Festival, and three Christmas carols. Other major works include the choral work Luminosity, scored for choir, viola, organ, tanpura, and percussion, and The Seven Heavens for Choir and Orchestra, which portrays the life of C.S. Lewis in the imagery of the medieval planets. Whitbourne died at the age of 60, and he died from cancer. Jerry Foley was born on 1955 in United States. Foley was an American television director and producer, he directed The Late Show with David Letterman from 1995 until the end of the show's run. Foley was the executive producer and director of the Live on Letterman concert series before it ended in 2015. He was named Supervising Producer in May 2003. Foley had nine DJ Award nominations and 21 Emmy nominations a record for a single person working on a variety series. Foley directed over 3,900 hours of late-night television. He worked with film, television, and music talent in numerous single-camera comedy segments. Foley died at the age of 68, and he died from skiing accident in Vermont. David Mixner was born on August 16, 1946, in the United States. Mixner was an American political activist and author. He was best known for his work in anti-war and gay rights advocacy. Mixner played a key role in defeating Proposition 6 in California, which sought to ban gays and lesbians from being school teachers. He also organized the moratorium to end the war in Vietnam in 1969, drawing millions of protesters nationwide. Mixner later became involved in Bill Clinton's presidential campaigns, but criticized Clinton's don't ask, don't tell policy, which led to a rift between them. Mixner died at the age of 77, and he died from COVID-19. 
Malachi McCourt was born on September 20, 1931 in United States. McCourt was an American actor and writer of Irish ancestry. He was the 2006 Green Party candidate for governor of New York, losing to the Democratic candidate Elliot Spitzer. He was the younger brother of author Frank McCourt. In 1970, McCourt released a spoken word album on vinyl, and the children told the passing of the day. With photos on the back of the album cover, and the producer was David Hess. McCourt acted on stage, on television, and in several movies. McCourt died at the age of 92, and he died from multiple disease. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.